what I wanted to go over with you today is what my son calls cheat codes. Uh, there's probably no better term for it. When we, as young adults, uh, starting out, trying to figure out what we should be doing with our lives, we tend to kind of lean into um, conventional education, like college, and, and not really look at some of these seminars and webinars and uh, things that are people are really out there doing some cool stuff. And so I just wanted to go over that with you. In my mind, I, I, could, I could learn what, what took someone 10 years to learn. If you could learn that in two weeks, I mean, that is priceless. That to me has, it, it's been the way I've lived my, uh, my adult life. I, I was fortunate enough to go to a, what's called a Life Spring event uh, back in the early 80s, I believe, or maybe the mid 80s. And it really opened up my eyes to, that was a four-day event that taught me how to live my life. I mean, there's, there was rules and laws in there that were uh, outstanding. One of them is <clears throat> you as a human being are 100% responsible for the situation that you're in, good or bad. When I heard that, that was, that was to me, that was like, that I listen to that so many times over and over in my head. You are 100% directly responsible for the situation you are in. I don't think you could have learned that ever in school um, because half of the schools that I went to, I didn't believe my teachers knew what they were talking about. Um, that's for another conversation. Uh, there, was a, there was only a couple of teachers that I really liked when I was in, um, in public school. Uh, as a kid. But once I went through this Life Spring program, it opened my eyes to this whole alter education system that's out there. And yeah, there are scams out there, there's gurus and gagas and whatever you want to call it that are just trying to sell their program and not to give you a full education. I, I've used my intuition over the years to to uh, filter those people out. Very, I thought it was pretty easy to filter them out. I could just look at their presentation and go, and I really don't think they are uh, living the life that they're saying they are. So you want to be careful with that. So let's get back to cheat codes. I've uh, been fortunate enough to learn directly from people. I, I've got a very strange process for learning. I, I cannot take physical notes. I sit there and I listen and that's how I learn. That's the, that for me is my absorption. Some people, my daughter, she has to write everything down. My son is a meticulous note taker. My handwriting penmanship is so bad that I can't sit there and write and do it. And multi, and to me that's multitasking. I'm writing and listening at the same time. I can't do it. Um, I can just listen. That's my absorption rate. That's, that's the way that I can uh, handle uh, con uh, content. And so that to me works. But the main thing that I want to get across to you today, guys, is finding a mentor that is someone that you can take their 10 years of experience and suck it down in six months or three months or, or one little tidbit when I, when I go to these events, I, we got an event coming up this weekend. When I go to this thing to speak, as soon as I'm done speaking, I'm all ears again. And I want to be listening to what all the other people that are over there really doing business are saying. And I'll probe them. I'll try to take them out to dinner, take them out for lunch, take them out for a beer, figure out what they're doing that I can add to my business that'll increase my business, that'll increase my outcomes. And that's what I'm really all about. I have been all about that, like I said, since I took that program when I was 23 years old. Uh, I've, I've learned that I am directly responsible for the situation I'm in. 
and I'm directly responsible for the people that I hang out with and um, you know get into the law of attraction when, when you're talking about hey yeah Mike Rosica he's got all the contacts he knows everybody in his business well how do you think I got those contacts guys I got those contacts from providing education to people providing help uh, there's been times that I've stopped doing my own due diligence on a process just because one of my note investors needed help because they were in a 24-hour crunch uh, window of time to get their due diligence done. I'll drop everything that I had going on and I went and I helped them out. Well, man, that goes a long way with people. When, when you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of time to help them get their process done, Man, that, that is that is just and and you don't do it to for the for the gain. You don't. I didn't drop everything to help that guy do his due diligence. Let's say because I wanted something in return. I did it because the guy needed help, and that's it. When you you know you just I'm studying Bob Proctor right now. Uh, been so for the last couple of years now. And, you know, you have to, first you have to be, then you have to do, have, and give. So you have to be, do, have, and give. Give your time. Give, sacrifice some time to someone. And it all works in circulation. Um, that, that one little thing that, yeah, you stopped everything, Help somebody do some due diligence for, uh, you know, maybe four or five hours. Help them crunch, crunch through some tapes. That little give stuck. It. I I did the give. I went right back to what I was doing. I forgot all about it. Three months later, I get a phone call, and this guy wants to participate in a trade with me, and so we ended up taking down a bunch of good notes. I mean. That's how it. That's how it works, guys. It it works by circulation, and sometimes I'll give to help someone like like that guy, and I won't get it back from that guy. I'll get it back from someone else, totally unrelated, and it's not. Like I said, it's not done because I did it to get something. I did it just to do it. And then all of a sudden, I'll get a phone call from someone else out of the blue, or a borrower will call me and say he's ready to do a refinance and pay me off, and boom, the universe pays me off. Um, it's been that way my whole life. I, I realized that at a very young age, and it's been a magical ride. That's uh, so. So go out there. Go to these events, meet as many people as possible, and get familiar with what they're doing in their business, see how they're making money, see how they're helping people, and see if they're even willing to help people, because I'm not going to hang around people that are, are not like-minded like me. Um, I, I believe we're all on a, on a vibration frequency, and... When you've got a person who is negative, who is all for themselves, that's a lower vibration than a giving vibration. So like attracts like. Like-minded people attract each other. Birds of a feather flock together. You know, it sounds corny, but man, it's so true. People are attracted to other people that are givers. And when a person is a giver, they are also receivers. They become awesome receivers. Those are the people that you want to be around. Those are the people that I want to be around. Because if they're given, I know they're receiving, and I'll receive right alongside them. That's the, that's the kind of people that um, I've attracted into my life. And the other people have a way of filtering themselves out. Yeah, I've made some mistakes. Um, with other people, some people I shouldn't have um, had around me, I guess you would say. But 
it all filters out, and uh, it's a, it's an amazing thing. This this world that we live in is an amazing thing, and you know my buddy Gary Vaynerchuk, he's my my internet buddy. I'm not friends with him personally, not yet. He says the same thing. He says it all comes back to you, and you, the odds of you becoming a human and living in the United States is and a, the most awesome privilege that you could have. And it's just beyond amazing, the odds. I think he says there's 400 million to one that you could have became, I think he said a bird <laughs> instead of a human. So take advantage of that, folks. Don't just muddle through your life. Don't just muddle through these events that we go to. Get out there, learn Start networking with people that you can learn from. Hang out with them. Do favors for them. Try to work alongside them. Uh, you know, some of the some of the best money I've ever made is working for free. Helping that guy do his due diligence that time made me more money than I used to make in a year. So, by that one little give, that one little hey. Let me let me uh, let me help this guy out of a jam, even though, you know, some people would consider that guy my competition, which I, is total bullshit. There's no such thing as competition, uh, because he's doing his thing and I'm doing my thing, and I don't really care what his thing is. I don't look at what his thing uh, that he's trying to. Uh, to do, I've got my own systems. I've got my own people that I hang out with. I've got my own employees that uh, work for me, and we work together. And I've got my people, and he's got his people. There's no such thing as competition. We're all in this thing together, and um, as my father used to say, we're all in this together, and nobody gets out alive. So I, I've always taken that to heart that along the lines of there's no such thing as competition. We're creative beings. I create the situations that are, I, I, are, I am in, and we all have that ability to create. Take advantage of, of, of our higher senses, our creativity, our imagination, and stop being so logical. Stop doing things that are just so freaking logical. It makes real good sense to be safe and 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 you know Bob Proctor puts it puts that down too it's better to be safe than sorry is the worst thing you could ever teach a kid that is just that is that's sad that is a sad statement and it's a statement that I've lived with in, in my early years it's better to be safe than sorry and I just realized that that is just the worst thing you could ever teach a kid and so uh, we're all born risk takers and go out there and take some chances. Go out there and learn as much as you can get your hands on and, uh, and enjoy yourself above all. Enjoy yourself.